Mercer, a winner over Kennesaw State, 74 to 62. Mercer head coach Greg Gary joins us now. Bears now go to 2 and 0 at home. Defensively, I thought you played extremely well in the first half. We're able to set the tone and get out to a nice lead. We did. I thought we plugged gaps really well. I thought we helped each other. We had clean switches. Uh, just so that there's no angles there because they're they're an athletic team that likes to get downhill. Uh, so I, And I thought our big really clogged up the lane at times and stayed in line with the basketball on the rim. Uh, the second half, we got so spread out just because they hit a couple jump shots. Yeah, and, and so I think that's what we have to learn from is, hey, if they keep hitting those, that's on me because I'm telling you to plug gaps because they're not a great shooting team. They're going to make some. They're college basketball players. Uh, so I think the second half was really, we didn't have clean switches. They got to the lane and got direct line drives. And then our big is not there in line to be able to go through his chest and shoot over it. So I, that, that's the reason why I, I didn't realize they scored 43 points the second half, but that's, that's, that's too many to give up. But I did like the way we closed it out and they never got to single digits uh, because we, we were scoring on the other end. Free throw shooting down exceptionally well, especially the, the seniors, even Kamar Robertson, who has not missed a free throw since that St. John's game. The freshman has showed good touch. No, it's it, it, he was upset with himself by missing, what, he missed three, I think, over three, or and he's a good free throw shooter. So I think he got in the gym and and was able to, to practice and just get confidence. Uh, but, yeah, the three seniors were great. I, I didn't want to take them out of the game, even though they were a little tired. Ross played more minutes than probably should have. Uh, he's not 100%, but like I told you before, he, he has the poise, he can make shots, and he knows how to play. And I was happy with the way Georgie took him. I mean, he hit all his free throws down the stretch, maybe missed one, uh, but he was good with the basketball. And then Ethan just, he was coming with a cramp pretty soon there. And I, I kept asking if he's okay. So I tried to give him a quick blow right before the four minute mark, because I felt like just to have another guy with some experience who can make shots and knows how to make the right decisions. Overall impression from this from this game, uh, what, what, what did you see that you liked compared to what the first two games? I, I, I like the way we closed. First, I like the way we played defense the first half. I thought we were locked in uh, and really concentrating on following through with our scouting report on what each individual does, what we were trying to make them do. Um, I, I thought that was really big. And then the second half, just closing it out. Defensively, yeah, we made mistakes. But we never did panic when they started to get it a little closer. Uh, and then we were able to make big shots after they would get an and one. Um, so I, I just liked our poise the way we closed it out. And the Bears did close it out. Mercer, a winner.